Ever wondered what mathematics can reveal about the art of decision-making? Welcome to an intriguing exploration of game theory tactics. First off, there's the tit-for-tat strategy. It's a simple yet effective tactic where a player begins by cooperating and then duplicates the other player's moves in subsequent rounds. This tactic fosters cooperation, especially in ongoing prisoner's dilemma games. Next in line is the Nash Equilibrium. This is a situation where no player can improve their payoff by unilaterally changing their strategy. Although Nash Equilibria may not always be stable, they serve as a useful yardstick for comparing strategies. Then we have dominant strategies. A dominant strategy outperforms all other strategies for a player, no matter what the other players do. These strategies are often easy to spot and can be incredibly effective. Backward induction is another interesting tactic. It involves unraveling the game from the end to the start. While it's a potent method for solving games with perfect information, it can be a bit challenging to apply in games with imperfect information. Signaling is a strategy where a player sends a signal to other players to sway their behavior. These signals can be explicit or implicit, verbal or nonverbal. Commitment is a strategy that involves a player binding themselves to a specific course of action, even if it's not their first choice. This tactic can significantly influence other players' behavior. Next, consider games with incomplete information where players lack full knowledge of other players' payoffs or the game's rules. This lack of information can complicate finding an optimal strategy. Bayesian updating is a method used in games with incomplete information to adjust beliefs based on new data. It helps determine the likelihood of the other players using a particular strategy. Evolutionary game theory, a subset of game theory, studies the development of strategies over time. The premise here is that strategies that succeed in reproduction become more prevalent over time. Lastly, we have renegotiation, a process of altering the terms of a deal post-agreement. This tactic is often employed in games where the player's payoffs are not constant. To sum up, game theory offers a fascinating array of tactics, from tit-for-tat and Nash equilibrium to commitment and renegotiation. These strategies reveal the intricate dynamics of decision-making in various situations, providing valuable insights into human behavior. So the next time you're faced with a decision, remember there might just be a game theory tactic to guide you.